election day, the mission deployed all 95 observers grouped into 39 observer teams in 15 districts. The observers visited 337 polling stations spread across both urban, 44%, and rural areas, 56%. And they reported the following. In a significant number of polling stations visited, 57.14%. Polling staff and materials did not arrive before the scheduled start time of 7 a.m. <coughs> Notably, at polling center 16059 at Apple School Field in Wellington, Freetown, where ballot papers were not available. Ballot papers were not available. Polling staff explained that the ballot papers had been taken to another <coughs> polling center at Gideon Secondary School. Similarly, at polling unit number three of Methodist High School in Bo, polling staff arrived well after the official commencement time of 7 a.m. In addition, a polling center at SOS International School at the Lumley Beach Hotel wrote, election materials did not arrive until after 8.45 a.m. Even when they arrived, the ballot boxes did not have covers, causing delays in commencement of the polls. These delays caused frustrations among some voters who got quite agitated. In 37% of polling stations observed, polling commenced within the first hour, while in 63%, of cases, polling started with considerable delays due to the late arrival of polling staff and materials. Polling centers were, however, easily identifiable to voters. The atmosphere at polling stations was generally peaceful, with security agents present in 92% of the stations Visited. On average, there were about five party and or candidate agents present at the polling stations visited, with SLPP represented in 98% of polling stations and APC in 94% of polling stations. There were domestic and international election observers from the African Union, European Union, National Elections Watch, New, Election Observers Network, and the Coastal Fellowship of Sierra Leone, and West Africa Democracy Solidarity Network. Almost 98% of polling stations were set up in a way that guarantee the security of the vote. In few cases, however, such as at polling station number four of the polling center located at Hockey Pitch One by Football Field Pavilion in Welberforce, Western Area Urban. The voting screen was placed such that it did not provide adequate cover for voters to secretly express their choice. In general, voters were required to present their voters' card to cast their vote. Nonetheless, in 8% of polling stations visited, visited, observers witnessed voters being allowed to vote without their voters' card. Such voters either presented <coughs> their voter registration slip or other forms of identity that tallied with the details on the voter's register. There were also cases, notably 
at Sierra Leone Grammar School in Aberdeen, Western Area Urban, Administrative Court in Cambia, and Port Loco Catholic Primary <coughs> School, Northwest Region, where voters who had voters' cards could not find their names on the voters' register and were thus not allowed to vote. Voting materials were generally available in sufficient quantities. However, in 7% of polling stations visited, there was one type of electoral material or the other that was not available, such as Indelgo Inc., Reconciliation and Resolved Forms, RRF, Gender Tally Sheets, Tamper Evident Envelopes, TEEs, and Ink Parts. It is also instructive to note that most of the polling stations visited, the polling agents and officials were not easily identifiable as they had no official attire neither badges to identify them. With respect to inclusion, 63% of polling stations visited were accessible to persons living with disability, PWDs. Observers also reported that there were tactile ballot jackets in 33% of the polling stations. Observers did not witness any active campaigning around the polling centers visited. A notable incident occurred at the polling center located at UMC Primary School, Rockpolo Road in Tonkolini, where the ballot paper issuer one was only issuing ballot papers for the legislative election and not the presidential election. Chaos ensued at around 11.45 a.m. when the APC district youth leader came and noticed the situation. The ensuing chaos led to security agents intervening and stopping the process. Similarly, observers in Kono confirmed an attack on the APC deputy mayoral <coughs> candidate. Mr. Silla, by some youth in the area. Closing and counting. Despite the delays experienced at the opening, 52% of polling stations visited closed on time. In 13% of polling stations where voters were still waiting to vote, they were allowed to do so. Security agents were present at the close of polls in 97% of the polling stations observed. In 84% of polling stations visited, the lightning condition were when vote counting commenced were adequate, but as the process proceeded, they deteriorated significantly. Sorting and counting of ballot papers was done at the polling stations and in clear view of party agents and observers. Reconciliation and result forms, RRFs, were filled out at the polling station and party agents allowed to endorse them. Preliminary conclusions. The mission notes that despite some early challenges Polling generally proceeded smoothly and in a largely peaceful atmosphere. And eligible voters were able to freely participate in the process. The mission commends the sense of patriotism exhibited by polling staff, the security forces, the general populace who collectively played their part in ensuring a peaceful conduct of the 2023 general elections. The mission, however, expresses regret that major political parties preempted the Electoral Commission for Sierra Leone, ECSL, 
by rushing to announce their quote-unquote victory in the polls before the official announcement by the ECSL, the only institution authorized by the Constitution and the laws of Sierra Leone to do so. The ECOWAS Election Observation Mission wishes to appeal to all stakeholders, particularly political parties, candidates, and their supporters, the security forces, and the general citizenry to remain calm and patiently await the announcement of the results by the Electoral Commission for Sierra Leone. Similarly, the mission wishes to appeal to candidates and political parties to refrain from making any statements that may lead to a breach of the peace. The mission further urges the Electoral Commission to diligently but urgently work to ensure the timely release of results to avoid any tensions. The mission reminds the candidates and the political parties of their commitment under the election pledge to use only lawful channels in addressing any disputes emerging out of the conduct of the 2023 general elections. The mission highly praises the patience and sense of patriotism so far exhibited by the vast majority of the electorate and we wish to aid each same display of high sense of maturity while awaiting the official announcement of the results by the Electoral Commission of Sierra Leone. Done in Freetown, Sierra Leone, on June 26, 2023, by Mohammed Ibn Chambers, head Equus Election Observation Mission, and I thank you. The mission observed that voting was largely peaceful, although a few polling stations experienced tension due to the late arrival of materials. The mission, however, noted that voting was slow, which could be attributed to inadequate training. The AU Electoral Observation Mission deployed 50 observers in 12 districts across the country, namely Bo, Bombali, Cambia, Karin, Kenema, Koen Adugu, Kodo, Port Loco, Ujiu, Tokoli, Western Area Rural, Western Area Urban. On election day, the observers visited 219 polling stations to observe the opening, voting, closing and counting procedures in urban 44.3% 40, and rural 55.7% areas. Opening of polling, the AU Election Observation Mission observed opening procedures at 17 polling stations across all six regions and 12 districts. The mission noted that 53.9% of the polling stations visited opened on time at 7 a.m. A total of 46.1% of the polling stations visited by the mission opened late due mostly to the late arrival of polling materials. 69.3% poor preparations by polling officials. 27.7% late arrival of polling officials. 5% violence or security concerns. 4% and, and other reasons. 9.9% such as the location of the polling station as the initial could not contain the crowd. The mission observed that there were controlled <coughs> queues outside the polling stations visited before and during the opening of the poll. However, chaotic queue, poor crowd control, and unruly voters' behavior were also reported in few instances. 
on election materials in all of the polling stations visited by the mission, essential election materials were in adequate, uh, were in adequate quantity in 85.8%. A few materials were in short supply, such as official validating stamp, ballot papers, register of voters, indelible ink, ballot boxes, security seals, tamper evident envelope, presiding officer's journal, and polling center man manager's journal. The mission also noted the late arrival of the materials which caused the late opening of polling in some visit polling stations. While ballot boxes were sealed properly in 94.5% of the voting stations visited, however, in 11252 SDA Primary School, uh, Sam Bihun polling station in Bo District, the leads or covers of the ballot boxes were not matching the boxes which were incorrectly sealed. On polling stations, the mission noted that most polling stations were easily accessible to the voters where accessibility was challenged, that is in 34.2%, polling stations group not leveled or flattened up, uh, appropriately, crowds obstructing the entrance, and polling stations located upstairs were reported as the main causes. On election personnel, the opening process raised concerns about the training of the polling personnel and their preparedness as 66.7% of AU observers reported late opening of polls due to poor preparation. The polling staff were not easily identifiable, lack of no apron of ES, ECSL kit and reached the required number per station. Nevertheless, 66.7% of AU observers attributed the late opening of polls to a poor understanding of procedures by the polling personnel. The mission commends the ECSL for deploying women and youth as a polling officials. On observers and party agents, the mission noted the presence of other international observers at some polling stations visited. <coughs> The mission also noted the presence of citizen observers in most stations visited. The participation of citizen observers contributed to enhancing the credibility and trans transparency of the electoral process. The mission noted that party and candidate agents were present at most polling stations visited and could carry out their mandate without hindrances and with a high degree of tolerance. On participation of women and youth, the presence of women and youth as polling personnel and party candidates or agents was observed, although women were less represented. Voting procedures. The AU Election Observancy Mission noted that voting proceeded uninterrupted in most polling stations visited throughout the day where there was an interruption that's in 5.5 percent it was usually because of bad weather or insufficient materials the secrecy of the vote was guaranteed in most polling stations visited the au election observation mission noted that priority and assistance were extended to persons living with disabilities the elderly expecting women, mothers with infants, and other persons with special needs. The mission noted that security officers were present at most of the polling stations visited and acted professionally, although during closing and counting, some were found inside the polling stations. On closing of the polls, most stations, 78.6%, closed on time at 17. All voters in the queue at the closing time were allowed to cast their vote. The stations that opened late closed 
also led to compensate for time lost at the opening. The mission reported that there were voters in the coup at the closing of polls in centers visited. The presence of party agents, citizens, and international observers was noted at closing and counting time. On counting of votes, closing and counting processes took place in a peaceful atmosphere. Observers reported compliance with the closing and counting procedures at the majority of, uh, of visited polling stations. However, in, in Jala campus polling center, Bo district in southern region, certain steps were skipped, such as the reconciliation of ballots. In the same polling center, unused ballots were also noted unattended and un unsupervised on the tables at closing. Closing and counting processes took place in a peaceful atmosphere, although in a few stations, some procedures were not followed, such as reconciliation of the ballots. There was insufficient lighting during the counting. However, the mission noted efforts by ECSL to provide a mini solar lamp at all polling centers. All the necessary documentation at the end of the processes was completed and results were published at most polling stations after candidate agents were provided with a copy of the results form. The AU election observation mission noted the presence of both citizens, citizen and international observers during the closing of the election day operations. Our preliminary conclusion and recommendations. Overall, the AU election observation mission observed that elections were conducted in a generally peaceful and a credible manner up to the counting on the polling day, despite the reported incidents of violence, particularly during the pre-election period. The AU election observation mission commends the people of Sierra Leone for their enthusiasm, commitment, and resilience to express their will at the polls and their unwavering commitment to maintaining democratic stability. The mission further proffers the following preliminary recommendations for consideration in improving future electoral processes. The government should put in place measures to ensure the peace and the stability of the country to safeguard the security of all citizens. The ECSL adopt continuous improvement and transparency in engaging stakeholders to avoid mistrust and enhance confidence in the electoral process and should pursue continuous communications. Provide a comprehensive voter register data to allow for targeted interventions in the electoral processes to improve participation. Provide the gazetted list of candidates before official campaigns session to allow them sufficient time to campaign. The ECSL to make provisions for early voting for ECSL staff, media, and security personnel working on the election day. Political parties should refrain from violence, hate speech, and uh, any other acts like early announcing of victory that could undermine the stability of the country and also credibility of the electoral management bodies. Channel electoral disputes through the legally instituted mechanisms under the law of Sierra Leone. I thank you for your kind attention.